Save Our Planet, Arctic Ice Melt, Worst in Recent Geologic History. A team of 18 scientists from five countries determined that the current rate of record-setting ice retreat is the most drastic to occur in at least 5,000 years. The researchers' findings, which are being published in the peer-reviewed journal Quaternary Science Reviews, examine data from hundreds of studies to obtain a large picture of millions of years of Arctic history. They concluded that the Arctic ice conditions of the past 30 years were unmatched and consistent with the rapidly warming climate. Dr. Leonid Poliak, a polar researcher and lead author of the study, stated that the normally predictable ice fluctuations related to the Earth's orbit indicate that there should be more rather than less ice. Therefore, the current ice loss is not just a low point in the natural variable cycle of shrinking and growing ice. Dr. David Barber, Canada's Research Chair in Arctic System Science at the University of Manitoba, and his own team of researchers have also been finding evidence of unprecedented sea ice decline. We're just coming into the summer conditions uh, in 2010, and we're finding that uh, we're probably going to lose uh, quite a bit of ice uh, through the summer, and so we're expecting it to be another year that's uh, fairly similar to 2007, which was the last uh, record of the minimum extent of sea ice in the Northern Hemisphere. Navigating through the Arctic sea ice, Dr. Barber and his team found that the ships were able to go through the normally thick multi-year ice easily, as it had degraded to only a thin layer of first-year ice. And it used to be that the Arctic Basin had about 80 to 85 percent of the Arctic Basin was covered with that kind of ice. We're now down to about 18 percent of the Arctic Basin being covered by that kind of ice. And what happens is uh, as we lose that ice, it's replaced in the fall with this first year ice, which is much thinner. It has a maximum thickness of about two meters. It's much more saline and much warmer, so it's much easier to break and it's much more susceptible to winds and wave action. We appreciate your efforts, Drs. Barber and Polyak, and colleagues, in asserting the alarming extent of these damaging ice effects. May your research motivate us all to act quickly towards steps to stabilize the climate in the Arctic and throughout our planetary home. In a September 2009 video conference in South Korea, Supreme Master Ching Hai spoke of the Arctic's already urgent situation and how to stop its further decline. As you saw for yourself, how quickly the North Pole is melting is at least twice as fast as the rest of the globe. As I'm sure you uh, already know, they call the Arctic ice the refrigerator of the planet. The world's leading climate scientists told us that being vegetarian, meaning no animal product, is the single most effective thing an individual can do to stop global warming. From my own insight, I know that if the world's people become vegan, one of the results is that the ice in the Arctic will be restored and quickly, along with the repairing of nature in every corner of the planet. Isn't that wonderful? This is the truth that I could promise you, but we all must act fast, like yesterday.